Hey, what is up guys? It is Gospel here, and I am here with another video. This is my first restoration video guide post-launch. I figure I'll start talking about builds now. This one I've got today is very simple. I just want to kind of talk about its usefulness and uh, sort of set expectations for how classes kind of work in SWG and the CU, right? Not everything is to do damage, and not everything is to heal, and not everything is to tank. Sometimes it's about control and CC, and this build has tons of it. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. But before I talk about that, I wanna let you all know that I'm still streaming on Twitch. You can join me uh, on there. I've got the links down below. Um, I've been grinding my ass off on the game, trying to gear up and get my characters to 80 and stuff, uh, and just get totally set up and ready to rock in PvP. So. That is actually what I'm talking about mostly is PvP, by the way. So for today, we've got uh, we've got Master Pistolier, Master Smuggler, and the first line of Combat Medic. That is the build. Now this build is not a high damage build. This build is a very much a CC control build uh, that will mostly shine in small skirmishes like 5v5 or something like that. I don't think this build will do very well in mass PvP, but it will definitely do well in small group PvP just because of all the crazy CC they get. Um, the main CC abilities that you will be using are Concussion Shot, which is a 45 second daze, means you can't move and you can't use abilities. However, you can use consumables like stims and food, uh, and that that's really good. Uh, panic Shot is a 20 second silence. Uh, you know, if you use Panic Shot on someone, they will be able to move, but they won't be able to use abilities. And then you got Stopping Shot, which is not being able to move, but still being able to use abilities. Um, these, these three will be your, like, bread and butter for controlling people. As well as Intimidate Shot will be really well, uh, really good as well. Intimidate Shot just straight up lowers people's damage. Doesn't matter what their accuracy is, it's gonna lower their damage, it's really nice. Um, the Overwhelming Shot is a debuff that will let states stick a little bit better. Um, I would suggest using this if you can land this before using Intimidate Shot. It feels like time to kill right now is pretty fast, so you might want to just, if you miss this, I probably wouldn't wait for this get off cooldown and just try land Intimidate Shot anyways. Um, you also have Low Blow. Low Blow is a debuff. It is an attack speed slow. So people, when you when you use this on people, their cooldowns will, be, will in fact be longer and it's very, very useful. Warning Shot. This is a negative 80 defense debuff uh, against your target. It does like zero damage, but you know, you'll start hit, everybody who hits that target will hit them harder because their accuracy will be counting for more since you've debuffed their defense. Uh, for offensive abilities, really all you have is improved body shot, improved fan shot, uh, advan or improved reckless shot, uh, and then you also have last ditch. You also have uh, quick draw. Now you don't do a whole lot of damage with this build, so I wouldn't necessarily focus on doing damage to a player unless someone else is being focused. So like for example, you have someone else on your team focusing someone and you also focus that someone. Um, this build uh, probably won't die easily in a 1v1 because you can just concussion shot and run away. But uh, yeah, the other thing you have is Last Ditch. This is one of the longer cooldowns in the game. It's also one of the highest, one of the highest damage abilities in the game. I think it's only second to Sniper Shot from Rifleman, which everyone is, not everyone is familiar with, but a lot of people are familiar with it being super, super strong. Uh, Last Ditch is that ability. However, since you're using pistols, pistols don't have very high damage. So Last Ditch is not gonna hit extremely hard, but it is nice. I do want to talk a little bit about the gearing for this build because it matters. So you can see I'm using a FWG5 and it, I've named it CC Machine and the reason I've named it CC Machine is I am using a Tactical Grip Power Up for it which is a attack speed modifier uh, and it decreases the attack speed on your weapon which is really 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 nice. Uh, and then I've also fully sliced it for speed. I did not bother to slice it for damage at all because the intent is not to do damage. The intent is to lower my cooldowns as fast as possible. When your weapon speed is lower, your cooldowns are lower. This applies to everything except healing from what I can understand so far. Um, attack speed 1.21, that's what it is. I'm modified with my modified attack speed, it is 
0.77. That's really crazy, and that's without using a uh, doctor buff for the uh, attack speed or getting uh, ranged attack speed from uh, entertainer buffs. So this is really, really fast. This brings your cooldowns really low, so you can spam a lot of CC. So for example, if you're in a 5v5, you concussion shot one person, you panic shot another, you're going to, you're, that's two people out of the fight for like at least 20 seconds, unless one of your teammates damages them. So you want to make sure you're coordinated in that aspect that they're not like using AOEs or targeting the wrong person. You also want to make sure you're targeting the right person. So for an organized group, Smuggler Pistol are really going to shine in that aspect. Obviously, you can see my DPS is like insane on this weapon, my modified DPS, because the attack speed is so low. But the sack on this particular weapon is 94. I'm still getting weapons and figuring out like how people are going to experiment them on them and, and whatnot because the server is so fresh. Weapons will improve over time and buffs and all that other good stuff will also improve, like uh, talking about foods. I do want to make a video about foods and consumables, uh, but I think that will be its own video. I'm not going to talk about what is needed right now for that because of the fact that um, the foods aren't the best right now. Once people start hitting those capped foods, then we can really start talking about those. Right now, like since steak, I've, the max since steak I've seen is like 26% or something when it should be getting over 40 and you know, stuff like that. So I'm not gonna talk about foods quite yet. I'm gonna wait for those two, uh, you know, people to craft the really good stuff and then I'll start talking about foods. Um, for exotics, exotics are like your skill hit enhancing attachment. I have none yet. I don't have any of the exotics, but the exotics, um, those will be eventually crafted if they're not already being crafted. The exotics you'll probably want are either speed or accuracy. Accuracy will increase your damage a bit. Speed will just make you speed even faster. So those you can put in your chest, your weapon, and your shirt. That is the smuggler build. Oh, I do want to talk about one more other thing. Factions, okay, so when you're Master Smuggler, you get access to the Underworld faction, which is uh, from the Smuggler missions. Every thousand points of that faction, you get uh, a Smuggler rank, and it caps out at three ranks. So once you're rank three, you get a bunch of bonuses, and these bonuses are 600 armor. This is at rank three. It's what you're getting all together at rank three. You're getting 600 armor, three meter range, and 3% extra damage. Uh, this is something you could consider for other builds, maybe on the damage, I don't know, maybe if you want to do some other rifleman, totally gimp yourself, not have healing or something. But, uh, the range and the armor is pretty good, considering that, um, with this build, you're limited to just recon armor. And recon armor has special protections against range, and weak it to kinetic, so you'll take more damage from kinetic. Now, the thing about that 600 armor is it goes a lot farther the lower your armor is. So from zero to 600 is a lot more protection than from like 5,000 to 5,600, right? Because of diminishing returns. Armor has diminishing returns on it. So this, this 600 armor is gonna go a lot further on that 4.1K kinetic than it is on that energy. However, uh, for my testing in the beta, it does not provide special protection against heat, cold, acid, or electricity. Those are remain untouched, but you will have plus 600 to kinetic and energy. It might not show up on your character sheet here. You can see I'm fully armored up, but it is there. So that is good. Don't expect to do a lot of damage with this build. If you're looking to do damage, don't do this build. But if you want to be like overall support in group PvP, like especially like sk small skirmishes or whatever, hit and run, Kind of stuff this is a good build this is a decent build i like it it's good it should perform well i'm eager to see what people are doing with it um later on and yeah it, it's just overall really solid i highly 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 uh suggest it if you're looking for like a control build anyways uh that's all i had to say for today uh, i'll be making more videos uh, catch me on Twitch, leave a like and a subscribe if you, you know, if you enjoy my videos, and I will catch you all later. You have a good day, good night, wherever you're at. Peace.